Hey, Drew. Hey, Dev. What's up, man? You ready for Diwali? Of course I am. Of course I'm ready for Diwali. Do you remember what that is? Yeah, it's a, it's, it's a Hindu celebration that we that goes on this November 14th. Really? That's that's so cool, dude. You ready for it? Of course I'm ready, dude. My family, we've got all the celebrations and decorations prepared, dude. That's awesome. Uh, do you remember the story, Drew? Yeah, of course I remember the story. It was uh, a few thousand years ago in an ancient city. There was a king named Dashra. And there was also a prince named Prince Ram, whose wife was named Sita. And one of King Dashrath's wives didn't, was envious of Ram becoming the future king. So she ordered that King Dashrath exile Ram to the jungle. And King Dashrath was left helpless, and he had, he, was, he had no other option besides exiling Ram. So he ordered that Ram leave the city for 14 years. So the next day, Ram packed up his things and left the city with his wife Sita and his younger brother Lakshman. Do you remember what happened after that? I think so. So, is this the part where the demoness comes in? Yeah, yeah, it's that part. Oh, so, isn't that where demoness was was wanting love, right? Yeah. And so, the demoness, she went and asked uh, Ram for love, and he said no. And so then, Ram told her to go ask uh, Lakshman, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's what happened. And then Lakshman also said no. So, mm -hmm. the demoness attacked her, Tim. The demoness attacked him, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, she showed her true form. Yeah. Remember that? Yeah. Lakshman cut off her ear, her ears and nose, right? Yeah. And so, uh, Robin, the demoness's brother and the demon king, uh, obviously was furious. Right. Yeah. And so he had to get payback. So obviously he had to kidnap uh, Ram uh, Ram's sis, uh, wife, yeah. Sita. <laughs> yeah. So, do you remember how they how he did that? Yeah, I think it was a distraction by a golden deer. That's right. He he took the help of another demon who turned into a golden deer to distract Ram and Lakshman, right? Yeah, I think so. Uh, so yeah, and so what happened was when when they were distracting uh, Ram and uh, Lakshman mm -hmm. with it, with this golden deer, uh, Ravan took Sita out and hit her somewhere. Do you remember where where he hit her? Uh, it was somewhere in his kingdom, right? Wasn't it in like a garden or something? I think so. It's like in a garden, yeah. But, but, uh, uh, but they didn't know that. Right, right. So it took it took Ram like months of tireless searching. I think he went. He was searching constantly for ten months, day and night, until he finally figured out where Sita was hidden. And in a in a battle that lasted thirteen straight days, consist like constant fighting, Ram was finally able to defeat Ravan with the help of the gods. The gods actually gave him like a, a bow, an arrow, that he was able to use because anything he tried beforehand hadn't worked. But finally when he shot the god-given bow and arrow, he was able to kill Ravan instantly. And then after that I think he, he was able to find Sita where exactly she was and rescue her. And then finally when he came back to the city, there were, there was a, there were a rows of lights in the streets that led him back home because it was really dark, right? So the, the rows of lights are what led him back home. That's what the pe townspeople had set out. And that's the reason that Diwali is Diwali. Oh, so that's why it's called the Festival of Lights. Right. Diwali literally means a row of lights in Sanskrit. A, a language from, I think that was created about 5,000 years ago. So Diwali is more of like a five-day festival. Mm -hmm. And on the third day, that's where the main festival the part, or party happens. So usually... Uh, Diwali is more about the is more about the the, the fight over good over evil. Right, the victory and, of good over evil. Yeah, yeah, that's right. And also, it's more about the goddess Lakshmi, who is the god the goddess of uh, wealth and prosperity. Mm -hmm. But we we celebrate in different ways. What do you do for Diwali? So our family will occasionally go to a temple on on Diwali, and with a bunch of other families in the courtyard behind the temple. We'll eat food, have have a good time, and even watch some fireworks and just celebrate Diwali. What about you? Uh, we do about the same thing, honestly. Uh, many other families, uh, we all go to this great hall, and we all eat, talk, and maybe play some games. Uh, towards the end of the night, we, we do some fireworks to just celebrate the Hindu religion, you know? Uh, mm -hmm. We also eat burfi, and it, which is like a... You remember what it is? It's like a white, 
it's like it melts in your mouth. Mm -hmm. Just really sweet. Right. Yeah. It's cool. What do you guys eat for uh, Diwali? So when our family celebrates Diwali at home, often we'll have like family over. We eat uh, butter chicken. It's one, of, it's one of the foods that my mom makes. It's the most amazing thing you can ever eat. It's like a savory, it's like savory, it's spicy. It's a bit smooth. It's got a like, smooth texture to it. It's just, it's the best thing you can ever eat. And another thing we eat too is uh, chole bature. Just like a type of bread similar to naan, a bit different. And chickpeas that are spicy, a little bit spicy, but there's also different spices that my mom makes and puts in to just spice it up and make, make it more flavored. So what do people usually wear during Diwali? So during Diwali, people usually wear the traditional type dresses that they wear for other celebrations. For the men, it's, it's something called a kurta. It's like a, long, a little bit like a longer shirt. It kind of looks like a dress, but it's not quite that long. And then for women, women wear something called saris and other dresses depending on their preferences. So that's, that's pretty much what they wear. It's just traditional dresses, just like other celebrations. Are you ready to celebrate Diwali? Of course I'm, I am, man. I'm ready to celebrate the lights, the win of good over evil, and just the celebration that's really important to our Hindu culture. Happy Diwali. Happy Diwali, man. Happy, Happy Diwali. Diwali.